Well, hello everybody, this is Street Outlaws No Prep Talk. Today I want to talk about Team Fireball for the Team Championship on No Prep King Season 6. Now, for the greatest rec lead to their photo owners, please subscribe and comment and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming. All about the Street Outlaws No Prep King's race series and all the other Street Outlaw shows. So, we always talk about Ryan as an individual, but we forget that this year the main championship is a team championship. And Ryan has his own team. Now, I believe he is the only team on NPK that hasn't swapped everybody since the beginning, since the draft. So, he has Robert Roberts, Giuseppe Gentile, Rich Reuter, and Chuck Seitzinger on his team. Now, Robert Roberts and Giuseppe are doing really good. They're up in points. They're in the grade 8. And they're pretty much the face of Ryan's fireball team on no prep kings right now now ryan is a little behind he has 15th in points and rich Ruder is a little bit further behind at 18th in points he has struggled as well that car got a brand new chassis this year they completely rebuilt the chassis and they've been struggling with it but i think the brooders will get a handle on that car really soon they've always been a top 10 car on npk point standings so the weakest link, we all know it, is Chuck Seitzinger. He is a great driver and he has a great crew, but he just doesn't run fast enough for the NPK standards now. He is running Ryan's whole combination. And I keep seeing comments that say, well, if Ryan had that exact combination, he would dominate. Well, that's not the case. He did that back in Season 3. But now everybody is way faster. I think everybody is two to three tenths faster right now than what they were on average in season three back in 2019. So that twin turbo 41 X combo is not competitive currently on NPK. They haven't done anything, not even in the past few years since season four, season five, a twin turbo 41 X combo wasn't competitive. So Chuck is the weakest link. He is 32, I think, or 31 in points right now. And Ryan apparently won't replace him. So loyalty is definitely more important to Ryan, I believe. So he is the weakest link on the team. Now, the team championship points, I've heard two theories. Right now, we're taking the complete points from the five racers on the team. But I've also been told before that they're going to take the top three out of every team, add their points up, and then the team championship is going to be settled. So if it's the top three from every team, Ryan is in a really good position. If it's not a top three, then the weakest links from every team are definitely going to show. Now, Ryan is... 180 points from first place. He is sitting in third right now for the team championship. And he is 70 points out of second place. So he is not that far off because for a team deal, even though they're 18 rounds behind, we still have several races to come. Pretty much have the points races remaining. And having four or five drivers accumulating points, that lead can change really quickly. So, let's see what happens.